Yo, 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 what up, my good people in the YouTube world? You already know what it is. This is your boy B. I'm right back up at you, cats, with another video. And y'all know I do. I come around here when we have big boxing matches on. And y'all know Canelo fought tonight. He fought Berlinga, straight from New York. Set out the Berlinga. He fought his heart out. But at the same time, I felt like Canelo completely dominated this fight. I felt like the commentators was trying to give Berlinga a little bit more props than what he deserved. I, I probably had him winning maybe like one or two rounds at most. But um, I saw from maybe the first round when Canelo threw his first jab, Berlinga blocked it. But that look on his face was like, damn, I'm, I'm in the ring with somebody that's going to do some damage to me. And I think that he felt that. He... Um, I think at first, the moment kind of escaped him. It was a little bit too big for him. He did settle down in the fight and start doing better a little bit later on. But at the same time, he didn't really do too much to move the needle. I felt as if Canelo was pushing a pace. Canelo made the fight his fight. Canelo landed the stronger, the harder, and the cleaner punches. Plus, he was the ring general. So, I felt like, can't anyone say that Berlinga won this fight? I don't believe that it was close at all. But, in the fashion in which I produce my videos, y'all know I do. I tell y'all how I really feel about it, man. And we got to be serious about this stuff. Canelo is a young man. I think he's in his mid-30s, right? But, he's coming toward the end of that career, my people. He's coming toward the end of that career. Wow. I see him doing things smarter, not wasting as much energy as he used to waste. He's, um, he fights in spurts. He's also, uh, you know, very powerful in seconds. You know, he's going to fight in spurts. He's going to ambush you and do those type of things. But at the same time, he don't got the same power that he once had. Uh, he doesn't have the stamina that he once had. And in all honesty, I was looking at Canelo Alvarez's body and he looked like somebody that like, you know, had gained a lot of weight and then lost a lot of weight, gained a lot of weight and lost a lot of weight. His body is starting to look like like laundry, man. You know, when you put laundry in the bag, that's what his body's starting to look like. And that tell me that he been doing this for a long time, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight. I feel like, um, you know. His, his, your, 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 your body start changing when you get in your 30s, your mid-30s and your 40s. It start changing, you know? You start, you know, your testosterone ain't the same. Your testosterone levels ain't the same. And your body don't react the same way. And I feel like this is what we're seeing from Canelo right now. You know, he's like a man going through menopause right now, you know? His breast is a little soggy. Saggy, my bad. Saggy. His breast is a little saggy. His, uh, you know, his love handle's looking a little flabby. He aging a little bit, you know what I mean? Then I look at his face. I don't know if he Hollywood on us, meaning, you know, he's putting that stuff up in his face, getting shots. I don't know. But it looked like, you know, it looked like he had a rough night. Like he went out drinking last night. You seen the flush red in his skin. His face was puffy. He reminded me of one of them, uh, you know what I mean? One of them Mexicans you see him stand on Sundays, passed out in the park. After going to the bar, drinking all crazy. They face be all red, swollen. That's how Canelo looked tonight. And I know he just had a fight. And, you know, Berlinga ain't even look like he landed a whole bunch of punches on him. But that's just that boy's body now reacting to the years and years and years that that man put into this game, man, you know? So I most definitely respect Canelo, but I think, um, you know, we see in a career that's basically coming to an end right now, and it can end in a couple ways, man. He could keep fighting, going out there trying to fight these young lions, and somebody going to knock his ass out, or he could retire gracefully, you know? Retire gracefully, maybe fight, uh, you know, but maybe fight Bud. Maybe fight somebody, somebody young and coming up, not Berlinga, somebody that's young and coming up with a name. And then, you know, call it a career after that. 
Call it a career. But if, you know, he, he go in there and fight somebody that's young enough, Canelo's going to get exposed, man. And I like him. You know, Canelo's more than my favorite fighters. And I like him. But I think he's right for the taking, man. You know, he's right for the taking. And I don't think that it would be someone like Terrence Crawford. I think Crawford is too small. But after watching the fight tonight, Look, now nah, I still listen. I'm, I'm over here trying to gas myself up and try to give uh, Terrence Crawford a chance. And y'all can probably read that in my head. Nah, hell no. I, I still don't think Terrence Crawford beats Canelo Alvarez, man. You know what I mean? I, I still don't think it, man. In, in, in every scenario I run in my head, you know, every, every outcome looks bad for Terrence Crawford, you know? But it is what it is, you know. Canelo was still the man. I feel that Canelo does still have a couple fights left in him, but uh, he's getting old, man. He definitely getting old. He ain't looking the same out there. His body looks soggy. Like, you know what I mean? Like you done put a whole bunch of clothes, like you about to go do laundry. That's how his body's starting to look. Um, he's getting hit and his face is getting swollen. He out here looking like a Mexican who drank too much last night. Whole bunch of craziness, you know? But he's still one of my favorite fighters. I like Canelo. That's all I got for y'all, man. Canelo's a great fighter. It was a good fight tonight. Entertaining. But that's all I got. Thank you guys for listening. Gilles.